Oh, this is Mike, nostressmike.com. And uh, what I want to talk about now is uh, um, government officials, whether elected or appointed or just got a job. Uh, the thing is, I was against all the uh, running background checks on people. And to get a job, you have to run a background check on uh, I, I was against that. I got to remember, I'm back in the old days from when uh, a person is uh, his word. And by the way he acts, what he does, and stuff like that. And there was some scamming people back in the old days that, that scammed uh, you know, I'd hire somebody. I remember I said I've been self-employed all my life. And uh, I would have to make a judgment on this person if uh, they are real and what they can do for whatever business that I'm hiring them for, you know, and if it's someone that's going to be there temporarily or someone that's going to be there for long term or, you know, I mean, these are the things I had to think of when I'd go to hire them. And, and I say, so I wasn't really good on doing drug tests and, and, you know, uh, checking their, if they've been in jail and stuff like that. I don't care if you've been in jail. Uh, you won't get a hand, you won't get a part of my business, uh, handling money until you've worked your way up to it. And so, uh, and then I say, they have to be supervised. These people have to be supervised. So there was, uh, there's a way to catch all this, the, the bad people that are trying to uh, get in your business. And, uh, but, uh, and now, you know, they do the drug testing, they do all this kind of stuff. And I find it odd that they do this, this, this type of investigation on a person when we have people in government that's handling, uh, making decisions for us. And uh, I don't really, I don't think these people could pass these this type of investigation and and the thing is so in other words they're coming into a position where they're already dishonest and how do you think that they're going to be honest once they get in that position it doesn't happen that way i mean i mean look it's something as simple as okay you need to be an american citizen I mean, you're getting paid by um, the American taxpayer. I would think you would have to be an American citizen to hold a government job or uh, be elected to um, uh, a government uh, position. And, you know, here we had, like, President Obama. He wasn't even an American citizen. <laughs> so that he gets in... And seeing he's not an American citizen, one of the things, I mean, it's, I'm sure there's a whole bunch of other reasons why he's screwed up and uh, dishonest and all this other kind of stuff. But like I say, just right off the bat, he's not even an American citizen. So he doesn't, he doesn't respect America like an American citizen should. Should. Because like I say, in, even in school now, they don't even teach people to be respectful to uh, America and the American flag and being an American. Uh, these are things that, you know, they're, we're not even taught. Okay, now, just because we're not taught doesn't mean you can't do it. I mean, there's a lot of things that I do that I wasn't taught. I had to learn. I had to learn to better myself to do the stuff that I wanted to do. Uh, and so... Uh, I understand that, but like I say, there's people that are uh, in 
government positions that make it harder on the American people. And like I say, we're not even don't, not even going to, you know, the uh, tr trying to make people stupid. We're not even going to go that direction. But uh, like I say, they don't make education where we get smarter or we want to learn. Um, the, that's not what the education system is about. And um, so, in other words, we don't, we don't even know how to improve ourselves. And now we are going to take a job where we are going to limit other people. You know, I mean, it's not like we're going to take this job and help other people do better. They don't look at it that way. And I say, so I wonder how many government officials do really bad things. I mean, I know once they become uh, in the leadership role, I guess you might say, uh, they're, they're really having to turn a blind eye. They're having to readjust their moral standings. But that doesn't even include before they even got into position. Why aren't these people checked out? I mean, the Republican Party, the Democrat Party, do they just allow anybody to jump in and uh, run for an election for something? There's no type of... Uh, at least they need to know certain things. You know, there, there's no, you know, I mean, I, I just, I really get confused because I don't understand why we give somebody power over us when they can't even handle their own personal responsibilities for themselves. And now they are going to tell me what to do. And what I can't do, you know, I mean, there's, there's a whole lot wrong right there. So I think to eliminate a lot of problems, we need to at least look at these people before they get the job, they get appointed, or they seek office. Uh, I'm just surprised how the good people don't get into office. It looks like it's the scum is the ones that are taking uh, public office. So it just, I don't know. We, we need to, we need to do something different. This is Mike, no stress Mike.com.